I think mm -hmm. here I'm hitting, I'm hitting them all fat. Mostly of them I'm hitting them fat. I'm hitting, I'm hitting like, you know, right back here. The, uh, if one of the things that I'm seeing, if you want to, the, uh, when somebody hits it fat, that is evidence that the low point of their swing was back here. Yeah. Um, one of the, I could look at a hundred pros hit balls and I could see them move in different ways. There's, there's some ver variation in each pro's movement. One of the things they all do the same though is that they control the location of the low point of their swing. It's always in front of the golf ball. Their divot is always in front of the ball, not at the ball or behind the ball. So their, their golf circle has a low point. There's a point at which the club reaches its very lowest point, then it goes back up again. That low point for a, a, a elite golfer is going to be in front of the golf ball. If I painted a, if I went out to the range and painted a white line on the grass and put ten balls on that white line, and I asked any pro to hit those ten balls, after they finished, every divot would have been would be in front of the line, and the white line would still be there. They would not include the white line in their divot. They hit down on the golf ball. So they're going to want that negative four degree angle. Now I can have a negative four and hit here, or I can have a negative four and hit right where I'm supposed to hit it. What allows them to hit down into the golf ball and put the low point here is two things that they do. This club is going down, 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 down. As soon as it passes underneath the butt end of the handle, it's finished going down. The next inch is up. So they make sure when they arrive at the golf ball that the butt end of the handle is in front of the golf ball. They want to have the shaft lean. So they, when they hit the ball, this is what their club is going to look like. It's not going to be vertical. But then it's going to go up into it. And if it's vertical, they may either hit behind it or, or blade it. So one of the things they do is they make sure when they, not only that they're going to set up uh -huh. with their hands in front, I've got a straight line with my left arm and shaft here. I don't have an angle here. Uh -huh. So I, I, I'm pre-setting myself in an impact position even when I address. Before I start the swing, I'm kind of almost in an impact position. Uh -huh. The other thing the pro does to help them have that low point in front of the golf ball is that the average pro will have 85% of their weight on their left foot at impact. Mm -hmm. 85, and only 15% of the weight's back here. So they're like this at impact. Mm -hmm. Amateurs are tend to be back here, putting their low point back here. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that you want to work on, or could work on, is the feeling of, of getting onto this left side in your downswing. Or, even easier, is to, if, if you rock to the right, then you better train yourself on how to move to the left. Or just don't rock to the right. Just stay left the whole time. So you could almost work on keeping keeping your weight on this left foot. So I don't, I'm not here. I'm staying left. So I'm, I have about 55% of my weight on my left foot right now. And I didn't I didn't move. I'm trying not to move one pound this way. I don't want to have one ounce of movement to the right. So I'm, I'm basically going to. Swing into it from the left side. Almost, I want to rotate around my left leg, not the center, and certainly not the right leg. But I want to just want to swing down and through. So one of the things you could work on is just try to stay a little bit more centered with your weight. Mm -hmm. And if you feel any tendency to do this, that's what you could work on trying to eliminate or minimize. Let me see your practice swing a little bit. The shape in your swing, mm -hmm. the, the way your body, the way you fold your arms and cock the wrist and load the hands. Looks really good. It's I don't sense that you have an athletic problem. You just have a geometry problem. Okay. So you just need to kind of tweak your geometry a little bit. Okay. It's easier to, to say than do, though, isn't it? Oh, see, that one I got fat, and so. And sometimes when you do practice, you almost you, you sometimes in order to train a new movement, you you have to care less about ball performance, and, yeah. and you're training your body a new movement. One more ball to show you this drill. You don't have to do it today, but in, in the future you might want to think about doing what we call in the instruction business as, as impact drills. Mm -hmm. if, I'm, if the ideal impact position is here and I'm not getting there, 
I'm going to go ahead and and do it. I'm going to preset myself into impact mm -hmm. and just hit some little three quarter punch shots, training my body to be comfortable with being that far left. Mm -hmm. It's really if you haven't been doing it, the, four, the body. This is four man. I don't want to do that. It's going to. It's almost going to fight you a little bit. Yeah. So you almost have to dis. You have, have to train it. I'll do a lot of impact drills. I'll get on one. I feel like a one legged golfer, and I just. I simply just stay up. Stay on this, and I will just do little punch shots. Mm -hmm. But I'm one thing you could do is move that ball a little bit more to the center of your stance. So yeah, that looks really good right there. That's a good preset. 